Good morning, good evening, and good night. I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to 144 from the stars, Tarot. So not meditating on the energy this time. We're just going to dive in together and see what spirit would like you to know. Ten of Swords. There's definitely a end to a cycle. Uh, there's an ending coming through. Uh, particularly though, I feel like, and I'm feeling more on like, there's two levels here, honestly. It's like there's a mental cycle that is coming to pass. It's like we've gone full 360 and now it's time to cut it out and leave it behind it. But I feel like two people are affected or two groups are affected by this differently. For some, for one group, this like lower vibrational side to this situation is they're experiencing this... Um, mental end to a cycle as a painful ending like they feel like they're being um nailed to the floor kind of situation meanwhile on the collective side this is a freeing of the mind um this end to this mental cycle is it's freeing you from something that has kept you bound so you feel lighter, you feel relieved. So for someone, this is a nightmare. And for someone else, this is a relief. And I am feeling like justice or court energy in this. And these uh, ten of swords that's got someone pinned to the floor very well could be um, information, documents, or truths about them. Yeah, I really feel like someone's like holding on for dear life is kind of what I'm getting in the energy with that four of pentacles. And then we've got the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Oh, this is like, I don't know, like something is diminishing and they're trying to hold on to as much as it as they can before it all runs out. We've got two of cups. And then we've got Ace of Swords and the Chariot Reverse. So this could be a couple. If it's not a couple, it's definitely a couple individuals that worked together on something. And they're experiencing a painful um, end to a cycle. And it's one that feels like it's hurting their pockets, their abundance, and their resources. And they are struggling to hold on. Um... Yeah, it's like whatever they are trying to keep themselves from losing is slipping from their grasp, slipping from their hands. They've lost complete control over a situation. They have um, no success in their energy at all. Like they just um, like this is um, a failure, a backfire. I feel like these individuals um, were trying to do something in an immoral or integral way and it's not working for them and it is going to cause a harsh painful ending for them it's not one that they're prepared for and they're kind of like i don't know like trying to grab anything they can on their way out or trying to keep anything from being on the way out we got the five of swords with the ace of swords reverse with the chariot this is someone that is like i don't know let's say that they know that they're about to lose in something or they know that this ending is coming this individual is freaking pissed off and running their mouth like i feel like this person is just talking a lot of shit they're spreading a lot of lies. They're angry. They're pissed off. They don't like that they're losing. They don't like that they're out of control. They don't like that they lost control. This is someone that likes to be in control. 
and they don't like it when the tables have turned and the situation is flipped. I feel like this individual tried to have control over you, Collective. And I feel like instead of them successfully putting these swords in your back, you just pinned them to the floor with those same swords and then, like, were free. You just soared high, um, free from the binds of the karmic shackles is what I'm getting. They're, um, their seeds are not bearing the fruit that they had hoped for and they're pissed off about it and they're talking a lot of shit. I feel like they're, they're hating on you because they're failing. They're hating on you because you're... Um, experiencing a happiness to this and their suffering. So they don't like that what is a harsh, painful ending for them is a good thing for you. That pisses this person off. Because they wanted the opposite is what I'm getting. They wanted you to be in this energy. Yeah, they definitely made some uh, decisions and the, the choices that they made is just simply not bearing the fruit that they had hopeful, hoped for. And they're pissed off about it. And I feel like they're mad at you. And it's not your fault from what I'm getting. It's their fault. They shouldn't have been doing what they were doing. It wasn't going to work anyways. You're showing up in Empress Energy. So I feel like someone is jealous of you. Jealous of your beauty. Jealous of your status. Jealous of your wealth, of your abundance. They definitely tried to come after you in some kind of way. But they were kind of burnt by the sun is what I'm getting. They weren't able to accomplish what they wanted. And they're pissed off about it. That they weren't able to control you. That they weren't able to take from you. They're pissed off that people don't believe the lies that they told on you. Or if they did, it doesn't matter. Like no matter what they said... No matter what they did to try to destroy you, to try to hurt you, to put you down, to make people look at you in a certain way. They wanted to spin some kind of narrative or story over you for others to see you in a certain kind of way because they didn't fucking like you. They despise you. They're very hateful. This is a spiteful, hateful person. This is someone that will make shit up and cause scenes or scenarios just to get a rise out of like the drama like this is someone that thrives in drama they like to be the center of attention they like to feel like they have the power and authority and they're pissed off because wow ten of pentacles coming out right after that seven of wands and then we've got the six of wands right here and i think underneath that absolutely it's the sun Son of a bitch. And we got the star at the bottom of the deck. Wow. Yeah, it's like... Oh, man. I like it, though. I really do. I, I'm I'm glad they're mad. Let them be mad. Like, fuck them. For real, fuck them. Like, just... The shit that they... The energy that they were in was so petty. It was so spiteful. Like, I don't know. This is the kind of person that just hated on you because... You were happy, hated on you because you were abundant. I really feel like for some of you, unfortunately, this is someone that hated you because you're pretty or because you're good looking or because of your status, something about your appearance. Maybe you dress well, maybe you, I, I don't know, but this person hated you for it and they wanted to hurt you. They wanted to diminish you. They wanted to devalue you. They didn't like how valuable you were appearing. You were showing up too bright, too abundant, too um, receptive to the divine. They didn't like that just... They felt like shit just got handed to you unfor unfairly. But they didn't realize that you earned those blessings. You did the inner work. You endured. You've been through shit. They don't know your story. So to them, they feel like you're just like a spoiled brat by the divine. They feel like you just have it all and life is easy for you. But they wouldn't know the half of it. And they're pissed off because they tried to attack you and it doesn't work. And they're about to go through some kind of ending and they're enraged. It's like they were pissed off at how you were showing up. They were pissed off that you were happy, that you were confident, that you were successful, you were fiery, you were attractive. I feel like you had a lot of eyes on you. Maybe you uh, were gaining attention of others. 
this person was very jealous of you. They wanted the spotlight on them. They wanted people to pay attention to them, to look up to them, to think that they were something. And I feel like you're humble. That's the funny thing. Like, I feel like you're just yourself. Like, you're not even thinking like that. And this person is, like, taking everything personal. Like, it's a direct attack to their agenda. This person's, like, self-centered and a baby. They're, like, monomaniacal. They have a one-track mind. They have an inability to um, think outside of themselves. And they're a bully. And you put them in their place. And they're pissed off about it. And they have a harsh ending coming. And they're, like, still pissed off, angry, gossiping, trying to slander your name. Meanwhile... You're protected. You're free from something. So some kind of ending is taking place or has just happened. And that's why this person is mad. Because when this ending happened, it hurt them, but it free you. Yeah, with this star, the sun, the six of pentacles, the ten of pentacles... I really feel like someone hates you for like your wealth, your status. Maybe you have a little bit of a fame, a reputation, a renown. People know you. People look up to you. You might have like a platform or just, I don't know, like you just, you're shining in some kind of way. And this person does not like that. They wanted the attention for themselves. We have Emperor. We have a lot of fire energy out here right now. Yeah, big man. It's like they were judging you. Someone was judging you heavily. They were spiteful. It's like, I don't know. They just, they were projecting how they are as a person onto you. So like, this is the kind of person that would go around and tell everyone, oh, they're just showing off. They just want attention. They're just doing that for looks or they just look at how they did it. Like this person was just sitting there running their fucking mouth to anyone that would listen to them. And they were projecting what they are onto you, spreading all these lies and gossip about you because they were pissed off at how like how much you were shining, how much attention you were getting. They didn't like how pretty you were. Or how good looking or attractive. They didn't like that you had people that were attracted to you. Queen of Wands. Heavy on the Leo and the uh, Sagittarius. We do also have Aries. The uh, individual that is, yeah, heavy on the fire. Just a lot of fire. Death. And I was getting ready to say, I was feeling Cancerian energy out here. And now we've got Queen of Cups. We've got King of Pentacles. And we've got Queen of Swords. So we've got a little bit of all the elements out here. Um, so this really could apply for any sign. However, specifically... I feel like this person that's been hating on you is a, um, I'm picking up strongly on Cancerian energy. I feel like this person is just crabby. Like they're just, they're the shadow cancer, like the, the shadow crab, right? They're, they're the ones that's all moody and snappy and coming out and coming at you all types of fucking sideways and trying to snap at your toes because they're mad that they're pretty. Like, I don't know this, this person's a hater. It's like they're insecure about themselves, so they want to attack you. I also feel like for some reason, this is some weird petty shit. Like, maybe this is someone you're dating's ex. Because I'm looking at this king and queen of wands out here. And then we had this two of cups out here. So, like, you, this person might be mad that you're dating someone that they wanted to date. Or that they used to date. Or maybe, like, someone left her for you like i i don't know it it feels weird it feels messy it feels like there's like this weird shadow triangle of illusionary love going on here like really i feel like 
whoever you're with, you're just focused on each other, but this bitch over here is focused on y'all. And it doesn't have to be a water sign feminine. I just was per picking up particularly on a um cancer for uh the masculines that are watching this very well could be a um I'm sorry. For the feminines watching, this very well could be a earth sign masculine. I'm picking up more so on like Capricorn or Taurus, but there is Virgo energy as well. Um, but there, if they are Virgo, I'm picking up more on their Capricorn or Taurus nature, uh, which is making me feel like maybe um, they're not the best at communicating how they feel or communicating their emotions because Virgo has that Mercury energy and I'm feeling like a, a sidelines from the sidelines energy from the Virgo energy that's out here so maybe this person um can't level with you on an intellectual or on a communication way and this person's mad that you um are getting along and connecting with someone else so well There is also a um, Aquarius energy out here as well. So yeah, for a lot of you, I feel like this is like an ex. This is either an ex or it's someone that's just very jealous of you. So it doesn't even, this for some of you, it's a co-worker. You've got a co-worker that's like, pissed off at how well you do at work or how much everyone likes you it's like maybe they were used to being the center of your attention and then now everyone thinks you're awesome and this person's mad about it or like I don't know maybe you just get your way or maybe you're happy maybe your your significant other brings you like brings you little lunches or stuff at work and People were like, oh, y'all are so cute. And then this person's like, yeah, freaking yeah, you choke on that sandwich, you little bitch. Like, I feel like someone is just like angry. Like, it just, the fact that you're happy and you have love and you have success, you have this abundance that it just pisses them off. So they're just like spiteful and like scornfully staring at you. Like, I hope you slip on that banana peel and break your neck. Like, this person's hateful. <laughs> like, it's like misery loves company. They're just a bitter old bitch. So, like, I don't know. For some of you, you guys might work in like a hospital environment is what I'm picking up because I'm picking up like someone um, near computers and stuff or like in a break room or something and like just, oh, have you heard about da 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 and, oh, da -da, and like just sitting there and running their fucking mouth and like just getting everyone to talk all this shit and then like, I, I don't know. And I feel like people are fake as shit. That's what I'm getting. And I feel like the people that they talk shit about you too are fake as shit. So let the bird bitches squawk, right? That's all I'm hearing. A bunch of squabbling, squawking bird bitches. Who cares? Bird brains, right? Let them peck peck at a little grain over here and peck peck at a little grain over here. Meanwhile, you're focused on some bigger and better things. They're holding on. They're resentful. They're losing control. I almost feel like someone tried to get you to lose your job too. Or maybe you got a position that they wanted and they're pissed off about it. I don't know. It just feels like you've got um, someone that's jealous. A jealous hater around you. All right, but if they're jealous and you're doing well, why do we need to hear about them? Like, why does this matter? Who the fuck cares about how they feel? You're doing good. You're in good energy. And it looks like you're freed by something. Um, so what? what's going on? What am I not seeing? Why do we care? Are we just giving tea? Is that what this is? That's weird. Yeah, for some of you, this is someone that was... For some of you, this is someone that was interested in you. 
and then you found out you were in a relationship with someone else and then now they hate you. That's weird. For others of you, it's someone that was interested in someone or something that you have or are a part of. And they're pissed off that now they can't have or approach whatever that person or thing is. So this could be a job. This could be a position. This could be a home. Maybe you got the last soda out the vending machine and now this person is going home trying to put a hex on you. Like, I don't know. This person just feels very bitter and miserable. I just saw Six of Pentacles and Six of Swords. So 66. And I'm also seeing 77. But then we've got Justice, Three of Swords, in the morning. So at the end of the day, they're the ones that are heard about it, and that's your justice. So this person wanted to see you fail, wanted to sabotage, wanted something that was yours, was hateful, was spreading a lot of gossip and rumors and lies on you. Yeah, definitely, with this moon coming out here, and also double confirmation on that Cancerian energy I was picking up on. But it's like, I, I guess that's why this is this needed, because... I was really wondering, like, if you're doing so well and they're just a bitter Betty, why is this coming out here? Why is this matter? Why is the collective need to hear this? And I guess it's because spirit wants you to know that this is your justice. Some kind of karmic situation has played out recently in your life or has been current. And spirit wants you to know, you know, despite them spreading all this lies and gossip at you at your work maybe trying to start issues or cause problems in your relationship or get you fired or get you put out or get people up against you they just were hating on you because of how happy successful abundant how sexy how beautiful like whatever like i don't know maybe you just got a, a banging body and this person just hates you for it because they work out every day and diet every day and they still don't feel comfortable in their own skin and they see you being happy and comfortable and confident and they hate you for it. Like, I really don't know. It, it just, it feels petty. It really does. It feels like this person is very petty. For uh, those of you that resonated with this perhaps being a um, earth sign male, Oh my gosh, I don't even want to say that. I really don't, <laughs> please, like, I don't want to say that. I'm going to just say this much um, for confirmation for you, so you know if we're talking about the same person. If this person likes to uh, play video games and, um, you know, like, self-service themselves, watching certain kind of things, this person's, like, coping with that. Like they go, like, I don't know. It's like they wanted to be with you and then they can't be with you. And now they're jealous and hateful and spiteful about it. And then they see you like this fiery, passionate, sexy queen of wands with your king of wands. And like, he just goes home and cries and beats off. Like, I don't know. It's it's really pathetic. It feels sad. Like, I, I feel bad for that person. But uh, for someone, I guess you really had someone that was that like, um... Like I'm getting, I'm picking up a, like on a clingy mama's boy. It's weird. It's really weird. It feels immature. It feels childish. Like they never grew up. Title little brat. I don't know. Maybe that's why you guys aren't a thing because like they wanted you to be their mom. And you said fuck that. I'm gonna go find me a real man, and you did, and you're happy. And he's good looking and he's got money and like this person's upset about it but still thinking about you. This is weird. This is gross. I don't I don't like this energy. So I'm just gonna we're gonna tap out on that. Um that was for someone. Yeah, I I, I'm, I really feel like the moral of this energy, this story is um someone was very jealous and spiteful and wanted to hurt you. But at the end of the day, they're the ones that's hurt. They're the ones that are bitter. They're the ones that are upset and you're still happy. You're still abundant and you're still successful.
yeah i'm going to leave this here because that energy grossed me out and i don't want to continue so if you like the way that i read please be sure to like share and subscribe i greatly appreciate all of your love all of your support and i will see you on the next collective message